So I want to take a look at the soapstone mold after about 16 castings. So the blade portion has done pretty well. There's a little bit that flaked off here and a little bit that flaked off here. And so that's done great. Um, if I just take out the core, you can see that there's a lot that's flaked off up in here and up in here. So this is, you know, this is where the core is positioned. And yeah, there's a whole lot that flaked here and back here. It's because of this, the core is not probably, it's moving a little bit. It's better on this piece um, because it's being held at the bottom here. Um, but that's not too bad. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. My plan now is I've, I've done enough casting with this, so I, I thought I'd play around a little bit. I'm going to sort of deepen the groove and then I'm going to increase the size of the blade. And I might even do a step blade. I might do multiple different depths here for the blade and then just try a couple of castings with that just to sort of finish it off. But yeah, this is soapstone. It's handled it pretty well. Uh, I haven't made a stone mold out of sandstone. It would be really interesting. I'm wondering if it's a little bit more porous and tougher than, but once again, than the soapstone. But I guess it depends on the type of sandstone we're using. Um, the vents that I carved at the bottom and on the sides really did work well to let um, air move out so the bronze could fill up the mold. Uh, overall, um, I had little holes here where I put the pegs in to align it. It was easier to carve and position than I thought it was going to be. So overall, yeah, it's a really, I think it's been a really successful mold and it could keep being used who, who knows? Um, so as I said, this is 16 castings and it's still in remarkably good nick except for up here. And it's still casting spearheads reasonably well. Anyway, so I plan to reconfigure this a little bit and carve a little bit more away and just do a couple more off this.